up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Juan and Friendship Fishing. Um, this is the next day from yesterday, Wednesday, today's Thursday. Um, it's pretty late right now, so I but I went ahead and go try again today. I went back fishing to a different spot. The water is pretty high, exactly exactly what I needed, but. I got uh, another video for you guys today, so um, I hope you guys like this video. I got a couple of footage, went a little, went a little drive around just a bit, uh, just to go show you guys some scenery. So not really, maybe one spot, just one spot. Right after that, I just came back home, um, got the fish all prepped up. Um, yeah, in this video, I got something for you guys, so. Hope you guys like this video if you guys are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to the channel it'll help me a lot um hit that notification bell so that way you guys get notified every time i post a video um i, I bring out content like this almost every single time i go fishing so i know i i, I bring out content i say that were tuesdays every tuesdays and wednesdays but that might just have to that might just change you know i might night might not be um tuesdays or wednesdays anymore it might be something a little different so yeah so it might be different days but i'm gonna um keep giving um, i'm gonna keep you guys updated though i keep posting up stuff and letting you guys know the days so that way you guys know what days i'll be posting up the videos and stuff like that so yeah up uh, overall it was a rainy day but then actually in between it started to clear out to become a beautiful hot sunny day well i hope you guys enjoy this clip this clip i don't know i i came across this spot and i i guess i saw like um helicopters and stuff like that but i think they were they had like a person on top of the stuff but then i think they were like just training or something like that so uh, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna show you guys that footage too, um, about the the helicopter before everything else starts. So um, I got something for you guys today. Thank you, you guys again for your guys' love and support. Please give it a like, comment below what your thoughts was, and those of you that's not subscribed to my channel and that's watching my YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button. Plus, on top of that, hit the notification bell so that way you guys get notified every time I post a video. Other than that. Thank you guys so much for the love and risk, love and support. You guys take care. See you guys on the next episode. All right. Okay, it's locked in the top. There's a chopper. I don't know if they, they have someone inside the chopper or... They're lifting up something. They guys got everything surrounded over here. This guy over here looking at me. This guy recording or what?
What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hawaiian Adventure Fishing. Um, this is the next following day from yesterday. Uh, last video that I posted up. Didn't really catch, catch anything from yesterday. So I came here to uh, try a different spot. See if I got a better result. So look what I found. And a big floater. I don't think that's any good. But so much Opala. Rubbish. Weather is not looking too nice. Thick, thick rain clouds. Water's pretty rough on this side. I'm gonna try. Um, I'm gonna give it a try, see what happens. All right, guys, stay tuned. And thank you guys, and I love all you guys. Thank you guys for staying tuned then to my YouTube channel. I appreciate it so much. And again, I love you guys. Stay safe. All right. All right, guys, I'm here. It's raining. The water is super high, just the way I want it to be. I'm just hoping that I can get a fish for you guys. So here's my first cast over here. First cast over here, a chopper there. Go on. Look at a bite. There's a bite on the first cast. Hopefully I can hook up to one. Once you get one bite like that, it's always good to check your bait because they might just rip it off the hook. They got beaks, right? So these fishes got beaks. I just had another bite. I'm pretty sure that bait is good. Let's see what happens. Water's nice and high. Just the way you want it to be. Check the bait. Yeah, bait is gone. I'm not gonna even. St I'm probably not gonna. Yeah, go never mind. The stringy. Eh? This is the kind of limo I use for catches ninuis. The stringy limo. And there's two different kinds. The leafy one and the stringy one. For Ninois, these ones work the best. Same knot that I taught you guys. Pull out the line right through. Then cinch it down just like that. Wrap it around the hook. Bang. Just like so. Grab a couple of these like this, string it through, cinch it down, wrap it around, just like that. Cast it out again. Want a good strike. That first cast. I mm, two two strikes. I seen a floater move, but they didn't really take it. This would be my second cast.
Hopefully I get one taker on this one. There you go. Another bite. Woo! Now I'm soaked. Take them. Right there, another bite. Small bites. Pretty small bites. Oh, that was another bite. Not really taking it. Must be like little size. But I got a pretty big hook, so hopefully, hopefully I can hook up to something, something big that is around two bites. That means that was two of the baits. Probably gone already. Check it just in case. Still got some on there. Hopefully that's good enough. Cast it back out. Come on. There we go. Nope. Never mind. Lots of bites. Nibbles, whatever you guys want to call it. Check the bait. Oh. Give it another sec. See if got bait on. Nope. Gotta put more bait on there. That's just a little bit bait right here. You want quite a few, uh, uh, kind of bunch on there. Just to make the bait more, more reasonable for them to eat it. Bait this first one here. Wrap it around the hook. Grab another piece. This one guarantees strike. Put the bait on, cinch it down on the hook like that. Wrap it around, should be good to go. Hopefully strike on this one. Come on, baby. I'm trying to call it. Right there, hook up, guys. Hooked up. Oh, screamer. All right. It's a better day. Pull him up. Woo -hoo. Come here. God damn it. Yes, uh, all right, guys. I caught it too, right? Didn't I call it on the on that one? I caught it out too. Perfect. Yesterday, like I told you guys, I went fishing. I went. I prefer to call it um, holo holo, yeah. I guess there, there's a saying like if you go if you say the f word, the the fish can hear you. <laughs> Take this fish off. Lead it real quick. I'm having 
having a hard time trying to take this fish off. Not too big, but perfect to to eat. Perfect size. All right, guys. Whew. I'm gonna cut the video, get myself get this fish situated, and I put the camera back on, guys. All right, stay tuned. There, give it a good distance. Oh yeah, pretty far out there. Hopefully I get something now. Can I see that? Oh, that, there's a bike. That's a bike, guys. Oh, nice one. Keep the keep the tension tight. Oh yeah, that's a good one. What hook did he eat? Bring it this way. Uh uh. Oh no. Oh no. It's right there. It's right there. Okay, came up. Oh, it's on the freighted hook. Freighted hook. Got him! Got him! Perfect! Number two guys, number two! <laughs> number two baby! That's a, a little darker! I got my gloves! Love it! Put you guys down real quick! Uh, show off this fish! Number two guys, that's number two down! <laughs> Grab him. So much easier to grab them when you have gloves on. So much easier. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. show you what I was talking about you see the bottom collar right here on the bottom collar the that gill right there that's where it got me the last time on my finger no it was this hand too yeah I, I still got the, the slice but it's all healed though it's all cherry all right guys now make it this fish situated and I bring you guys back all right that's two down all right got that fish fish situated rebate one more fish and I'm good. I don't want to take too much. That should be good enough for my little Ohana. Sometimes I catch four and I just give one away. Just because I gotta share love, yeah? I mean, that's what I do, you know? I share the love with everybody, you know? You never know that that person had a really hard day. We all get our days, you know? Other than that, it was raining earlier. Look, starting to clear up. I got the bite out there, so let's throw it back out there. See how quick it takes me to catch a number three from out there, but I can't miss the hook set. I gotta be really on it with these guys. Watch 
watching the fish no jump off that they're not only wasting fish <laughs> come on where's that strike that's another one bite that bait I put on you guys seen one bite bait Where are you guys at? Give it five seconds and cast it right back out. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, you said five seconds. <laughs> oh, yeah. Soaked again. Ah, give him one more cast out there. Yeah. I don't like when the camera gets wet because it leaves like a glare on it. Next time I'm bring a dry dry rag. Oh, there's a bite. See, when the waves... Oh, got him. Got him, guys. Third one. Oh, that's a decent one. Not too bad. Third fish. I'm not going to say it. I got to land it first because my line is super frayed. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's that bottom hook? Yeah, bottom hook. Perfect hook set again. Number three. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm gonna get this fish situated. I'm not gonna even show you guys that fish. Oh, uh, it's pooping. Ugh. That I don't like. All right, guys, stay tuned. Yeah. All right, got that third fish situated. I'm gonna go one more time, push my luck. See what happens. One more time. Holy shit, that line is not looking good at all. That line looks terrible. Wrap the around. Okay. Woo! Cast it back out there. Is the camera on? I, I'm pretty sure I turned it on. Yeah. Cast it out there again. Oh, look at this. Will you look at this? There we go. Woo. High tide is the best time to go. Best time to go. Pushing my luck already. Oh, oh. Seeing that strike zone already, that's why. Fighting pretty far out there, yeah. I'm not wasting no time. No wasting no time. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 
What was that? Was that a bike? Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, don't waste no time. I'm wasting time. Get it back out there. Oh, yeah. Get it back out there. Oh! Oh! Beautiful cast. I'm not even worried right now to be catching like I got three I already caught three of them so I'm happy with that like see I'm really happy for that I'm really grateful you know oh it got wrapped that's why I seen it hanging up on a floater it was hanged up on a floater let me go ahead and rebate Oh, the wave almost pushed all the limo off. <laughs> There's a good piece. That's a nice one. Just take it through. Cinch it down, wrap it around. Hopefully that's good enough. Guess it back out there. Yeah. There we go. There we go. That's a strike right here. Watch him. Watch this guy. Strike right here. I feel it. I just feel it. Oh no. It's going over there. Still yet. Strike. <laughs> Not even in the zone where I want it and I still <laughs> still think I'm going to strike. Ah, wow. that's not why I wanted it. That's not good. No, okay, so I gotta cast it back out. I'm wasting no time, guys. No time. Ah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Waters, mm. amazing, bro. I love it. I love it when it's high tide. Waters, you're not, you're not sweating or dehydrating on the rocks. You, you, you're actually just staying cool because the waves are just splashing you. But you gotta be careful, though. You never know, yeah. So you gotta be real cautious. Uh, surrounding you gotta know the wave time the wave oh bike uh, the bike oh bike take them 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 <laughs> holy shit <laughs> Check them. Uh. Oh. oh, too early. Too early I set the hook. I'm gonna bait up one more time if I don't catch another one on this bait up. I'm I'm pretty stoked though to what I got. I'm happy. I got something for you guys to see today. You know. The beauty and the glory, you know, just to get out here. Do thing, do something positive in life, you know. Instead of just doing nothing, you can stay home, you know, do chores, clean up the house. Not me. I'd rather get out here. <laughs> I'd rather be outdoors, doing this things that I love. To, oh my goodness, power break sucks, but I use them because it's good. But it sucks. It's good, but it sucks don't make sense that doesn't make sense it's good but it sucks 
<laughs> oh boy, the shit I say sometimes. Unbelievable. Strike. <laughs> screamer, screamer. Fun size fish today. Oh, bite. Come on. There you go. Don't be afraid. It's all alright. It's too good. A bad guy. <laughs> Give it five okay. seconds and get it back out there. Okay. I had a couple bites. Might have took my bait. Yeah, I took my bait. Woo! All right, guys. I'm gonna be back and bait up. That video got that that video got long. All right, guys. Let me bait up and get you guys back out there. Shoots. All right, guys. I got the fish all situated. I'm gonna go ahead and, and rebait up. Three of these medium size is just perfect. I don't need too much unless I catch two big ones good two big ones is just just enough for me see how it sinks down grab some of these Nemo here you don't really yeah Right there, cinch it down, wrap it around the, sh the hook. Put my gloves in my bag. So it's perfect. Hopefully that's good enough, won't come off. This bag. I don't know why I put the rope on. So let's get you guys back out there. Rebait it. Put my gloves on. It's hard to put the bait on with my, my gloves on, but it's good to have the gloves. And the last couple of my videos, you guys see right along the side of the gill plate. I'm gonna show you guys after what happened. I, it sliced my hand, sliced my finger pretty bad. See if we can get a second one here guys this will be the forecast i think i'm pretty sure forecast after that fish water's high tide perfect like i always said when the when the tide is pretty low like i don't have luck catching this fish oh bite already i just got a bite yeah so when the tide is pretty low, I don't get any luck on this fish. But when it's high tide, for it works out pretty fine. It works out pretty good for me. Probably took my bait. Give it a second. Oh, there's another bite. It's not really taking them. I want it to just take it because it, if you get little bites like that, sooner sooner or later it's going to fray up your line so I just got a bite. It's going to fray your line because they're teats. Here's a bite. Oh, I just missed it. I just missed it. Oh, that's a taker. That's why I'm, oh, it came off. Came off, guys. That's okay. 
Let me rebait, get it back out there. Get the bait on. Cinch it down, wrap it around the hook. Got this second one. Look, the line is already freighted. It's already fray, man. Usually when I see that, I change the hook. After this cast, I'm gonna change the hook. Change, not change the hook, but change the line. Cast it out. That was a fourth cast and almost had a strike came off. You gotta be quick on the setting. When you when they bite, that just takes it. That bite zone is like right there. That point comes out like that. Who knows, I might just get one right here. There we go. That's a bite. Remember that strike that I had right in here? Big, big old black one. Let me go cast it out. Yeah, recast this out. There we go, perfect. Yeah. When the, the best time to catch these guys is when it's high tide. For me on this island, yeah. It gives you more a chance to catch them. Probably took my bait. I'm gonna give it a sec and then change out the bait probably. Five seconds. Yeah. Not biting, always gotta change the whole bait out. That's what I normally do. Oh, that looks pretty good though. Ah, just change it out. No, that looks good. Now nah, keep it on there. Yeah, just cast it back out. Looks pretty good though. There we go. Try not to. When you miss them, it takes time for them to bite again. When you get a hook up on them, it takes time for them to come back and bite it again. Yeah, you. You don't want to miss the strike or the hook set. You want to keep that that steady rotation bite going. See, since I missed that last one, that hook up, uh, it's gonna probably take them time to come back and bite again. over there. Try 
try to rake that again see if i catch a big one again inside That last big one that I caught in here, I could see it. I could see it eat the bait, but I didn't take the floater down because it was kind of shallow in there. But I saw it take the bait and then I just set the hook. Oh yeah, time to change. Change the bait out. Pull out the loop. Look for a good, nice, juicy one. I think that should be good. Wrap the hook around. Oh, that is nice, perfect. Perfect mushroom looking. if I can find another one like that. Wrap it around. Oh, that's one bite. One bite hook up right there. Ah, cast it a few ways out there. There we go. Why not? Got a strike. That's one bite right there. Come on, baby, don't be scared. Come back. There's a nibble. A couple nibbles. Can't miss the strike. Small bites. I probably spooked them. So they got spooked probably for that. They're not biting. Only nibble. Cast it back up. Got it rebait up. That's a big, big bush. Cast it back out there. Last cast for today, guys. I got three fishes. I'm good. This is my last cast. And I'm out of here. My last cast. When they nibble, they're like fucking, excuse my language, and they're like freight up the line. But I'm happy right now, so I got everything that I need. Here, here. 
Oh, still got bait. Still got bait. Still got bait, guys. Still got bait. It's out there. And it's coming back in. See that? Set the hook too early again. Get too excited. That's what happens. When you get too excited, you end up setting the hook too early, you end up missing them like how I just did. Alright guys. If I got bait on there, oh, yeah, I got bait on there. Wrap this again, cast it back out there. Ah, uh, one time I did that, not paying attention, my tip flew off. <laughs> but I was like, oh no. My tip flew off. I was like, oh no, I cast it this whole top flying. <laughs> then I saw that thing just fly, bro. I was like, oh no, there goes a tip. And I kept reeling it up and then it came in, thankfully. Let me know if that ever happened to you guys. <laughs> Well, you guys keep casting multiple casts, casts, casts. I guess eventually this thing buckle loose, yeah. But then, yeah, just a quick update. If you get on two-piece pole, two-piece rod, make sure that it is secured down. Cause I had that thing fly, guys. Like literally, casting that thing went flying by tip. <laughs> Half of the pole gone. <laughs> <laughs> that happened to me I just saw laugh up the guy just laugh and had the, had the kind plenty of people too around me bro I was like oh shoot bro, I was so embarrassed <laughs> when I did that one happened to me hey, everybody got their laugh though <laughs> I'm embarrassed but when I when I got done fishing I got to laugh about it afterwards I was like oh my tip and fly off in front of everybody so embarrassing yeah. all right guys I'm gonna end the video here maybe take you guys on a cruise somewhere We'll see what happens. All right, guys. Tree fish is still. Woo. Stay tuned, maybe I might just come back. Give you guys a little detour around. Who knows, see how I feel. All right, guys, love you guys. You guys stay safe out there. Woo. Thank you for joining our Hawaiian Adventure Fishing. The water is amazing. Get out there, do stuff, you know? You never know, you know? Look how beautiful. Great day overall. Because I caught something. <laughs> Alright guys, love you guys. Woo! Alright. <laughs>